welcome back to Troubleshooter. All right, we're going to get right into the new DLC and see what's going on. You still up? Anticipation and apprehension. If you're drowsy, go ahead and sleep first. Well, this is dead. Diary has never been put aside. Places they've been, people they've met, and their stories. Over the past two years, you filled several diaries and you're still tirelessly recording what happened every day. B. Say what is on your mind. What do you think of Wolfgar? Much better than I expected. Really? Ain't no problems taking care of cases we handled with them. What if you compare it with Brunhilder? It's unfair to compare such a small company to a major company. Frankly, I was surprised that this company was founded by a clumsy boy. He must have worked hard. He's only doing what he's interested in. He was someone with no capacity to solve problems other than asking others for help. Hmm, that seems exaggerated. Irene seems very different than how she was when I first met her. She was a hot-blooded girl who sacrificed herself to save more people. I think that's what she is right now. It was a short talk, but I saw a glimpse of her fervor to become a troubleshooter. Seems like her. Bianca's talk about her impressions in the company continued for a while. A cute kid with a beautiful smile. Uh, chuckling blonde glutton. A tough backstreet woman. A topless mongrel. I was really surprised Giselle was here. Listen, what do you think of her, Giselle? Yeah. Don't you think she's awesome? Bianca talked a while about the story about Giselle Wallenstein from a noble family of the Krakus Union ever since she began to travel. Giselle abandoned the power and wealth of the noble family crew to a solo worth as, tr as a troubleshooter. For Bianca, who wished to live such a life, Giselle was her idol. Well, I can't say anything because it's my first time seeing her. I'm looking at what she had done in the field today, I can say she's more than a small. she's more than what a small company deserves. I knew it. Giselle is tremendous. Bianca. After Elizabeth finished recording her diary, uh, Bianca was asleep with her doll, Pepe, in her arms. <laughs> Usually Bianca would not have slept before Alyssa had writing her diary. She must have been tired. Good night, BB. Said he looks decent from here. Truth and deceit. What's keeping you from leaving Wolfgar? I don't know whether it's Ray's request or your own will. Now that Carter's gone, I assume you don't need Wolfgar's help anymore? Perhaps I'm a fox. What the. Wait, is that a joke? The difference of a Ray and Carter between the two and not. Had much to talk about. You're still on the fine dining tour with Sion on the weekend, sure. Kylie told me that you and Sion are bugging her every weekend. I never knew she felt that way. You seem to be very busy taking care of Ray and Anne. That's my role. How's your body feel? Can you endure it? I've had no trouble so far. Will those problems regarding your body be solved if you return to the Fortress of Suffering? Probably. Well, then why didn't you join Carter? That would only make Carter suffer. So what was the Fortress of Suffering like? Hazing spent four years in the Fortress of Suffering. Neither Ray, Carter, or Layton has hazing about his past due to their guilt. The question bothers you is forget it. It's no place for living creatures. Explaining to Layton as briefly as possible about the Fortress of Suffering. Why didn't you stop Carter from leaving? Stop Carter. Sorry, I know it didn't make sense. Hazing had fought until he lost consciousness. Whether it was Ray's request or his own will, Hazing was one of the one who tried the most tried to tried the most to stop Carter. Yeah. Spit that out. Are those who help you escape the forge still waiting for you there? What makes you think that? I know the Fortress of Suffering is no place for a single man to plan an escape. 
what you have undergone, who you met, what you experienced. We wholeheartedly wanted to ask you, but the guilt inside kept us from asking. We are sorry, Hazing. I just wanted to know that you guys had been too. Yes, this is what we had been like from the beginning. Albus, it's time for you to pay rent. That'll be a hundred. Of course. So now when you pay your rent, Don gets a little bit of... And they've increased the rent somewhat. Looks like everybody's mentioned we are going to close the office for three days. Really? Right, the last three days of the week. Alright, we are rooting for you. You two are already far better than most official troubleshooters in town. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, everybody. Let's keep up the steam, hero. You two, son. If you don't engage in the test sloppily, I'm going to fail you. You are coming as a supervisor for the test? Yes, but not not just me. All official troubleshooters have been working for more than two years seem to have been summoned. Why? There's lots of examinees. This is like a battle arena? The beginning of the age of... Troubleshooter. The subjugation of the sc skull of Yidrasil District by Black Pearl, extermination of the crime cartel of Windwall District by the troubleshooter Win Wolfgar. As Mayor Carl Lane had been reelected, he legislated dozens of policies to support the fostering of troubleshooters. Thanks to his effort, troubleshooter companies have shown outstanding performances lately. As their performances have been widely broadcast and advertised. Once perceived as self-interested groups, troubleshooters are now more often thought as true heroes who sacrifice themselves to protect civilians. Furthermore, the success of a small company owned by young Boston's 20 motivated many young people who were lost deciding the direction of their lives. <laughs> they don't understand how hard we worked. Something that others have already achieved seems like a piece of cake before you try to do it yourself. I found the article says the number of young number of examinees in the Windwall district is ten times greater than last year. Ten times? That's because the crime cartel has been exterminated. There's no real danger. If things turn sour again, it'll go back to normal. As for me, I would not have become a troubleshooter if you guys hadn't suggested it. Take a look. One hundred examinees in the second half of last year. I'd make a thousand for this year. A thousand, yes. That explains why they've all been summoned. Even Roberto and Maximilian have been called. Maximilian? He was really a troubleshooter? If I fail to do the number of examinees, that's one thing I wish to avoid. Kylie, please let me pass. Sion, you can't ask that. Well, you're asking the wrong person. The skill test supervisors are there to help. Gradings will be done by the VHPPD. Whoa, no favors. For those who cause the troubleshooter to boom? <laughs> don't be crazy. Just do it properly. You don't want to have any problems. I wouldn't think Sion would have any problems. He's a... Alright. Before we actually go to the mission, I think I'm going to stop here. We've seen the new story with Bianca uh, and Alyssa. And... Before we suggest a day off, um, I'm just going to stop for now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you have a good rest of your day.